midst of Zechariah 11 and 6. For I will no more pity in the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. So the Lord ain't going to show you no more compassion. Okay. Um, all right. To you nation, you Israelites, man. Go ahead. But lo, mm -hmm. I will deliver the man, everyone, into in the neighbor's hand. He's going to deliver you into the hands of Esau. That martial law. God, that's what's coming. That's, 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 that's another one of those things that we read earlier. That's how we know that when we read the scriptures that the end is near. The end is come. On the four corners of the world, blow and see the uh, martial law, man. Right? Go ahead. And into the hand of his king. And into the hand of his king. Who is the king of Babylon? You need the mice, man. Y'all the kings of Babylon. Huh. So the, hey, the Lord gonna allow his people to be delivered into your hand for, for one last hoorah. Right. You better get your beats in while you can. Go ahead. Go ahead. And into the hand of his king. Right. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. 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 Go Deliver them. See? Ooh. And out of their hand, he will not deliver you. Because some of you are going to die in martial law. Mm -hmm. Okay? The Lord going to let these Edomites tear you up, rip you up, break you to pieces before he break them to pieces. Gone. Like Gone. the book of Jeremiah. What you got? This the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 15. Uh -huh. And it reads, For the sword and the destruction... Uh, then as destruction draws not. It's drawing not. Go ahead. One people should stand up to fight against another. So one people gonna stand up to fight against another. Okay. Go ahead. And swords in their hands. With, with weapons in their hands. That's gonna happen. Go ahead. Verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. For there should be sedition among men. At that total uh, civil unrest of men. Go ahead. And invading one another. And invading one another. Right. They should not regard their kings. You're gonna not, you're gonna not regard your kings who your kings, your leaders, your governors, your mayors. It's gonna come a time when shit gonna be so bad, y'all ain't gonna try to be hearing nothing with please can y'all just just wait a minute, can you have no? We don't wanna hear that. They're gonna be hot in these streets, buck wild, bro. Go, Go ahead. No princes and the accursed the course, the course so like you, of their actions shall be stand yeah. in their power. The course of their actions, that's anarchy. So when you I hear the streets gonna be so anarchy coming out of this thing. Come on. And now. Jake always gotta fucking be doing the most, man. Esau started that Hells Angels type shit riding a motorcycle, man. Now they doing shit. They ain't like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they, like, they, they not the way of your prison. Yeah, they, they even, hey, <laughs> <laughs> the take them be doing the most, man. Uh, they won't even ride around. It. You know, go ahead. Verse 17, a man should desire to go into a city. Should desire to go into the city because when that martial law comes, they going to lock the city down. There ain't going to be no way to get in or out. Okay? You people living out there in them little... A little outside the town, wood town, you ain't, when that food draw low, and you ain't never uh, till your own land and you made your own gardens, it's gonna be over. Go ahead. Uh, that should not be able. Uh -huh. For because of the pride of the city shall be troubled, uh -huh. the house shall be destroyed, mm -hmm. and men shall be afraid. And men shall be afraid, man. Go ahead. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor. He ain't gonna have no pity. He gonna be going in, he gonna be hungry, he gonna know it. Hey, you know, Mr. Johnson got it over there, man. They always ain't good. They barbecued every week. God. I know they got something over there. I'm going in. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to kill that motherfucker. God. What you going to have, man? Total anarchy, man. And they going to be on the other side of the door. Waiting Wait, on your back. Traffic stuff shut up everything. He saw, he saw uh, his blessing was a sword. God. So guess what? He going to be on the other side waiting on you to break in. And tell your ass up. Don't use that motherfucker. I'm telling you. The house shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Uh -huh. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, uh -huh. but shall destroy their houses with a sword, uh -huh. and shall spoil their goods uh -huh. because of the lack of bread. For the lack of bread, man, because he saw them about to cut these trucks from running. They gonna, the supermarkets ain't going to get no goods, and every supermarket only has about three days' worth of food in it. Once you do a store run, a store will be empty in three days. It won't have nothing in it. You know what I mean? Gone. People gonna be getting everything, man. They be getting everything. 
first of all, the first thing normally goes is all the meat. Meat and potato chips, that's normally the first thing goes. They don't even mess with any canned goods and bread, bread. And they get all the juice and shit, uh, you know. But they grab the meat first, some shit you really gotta cook right away if you ain't got no power. Uh, that's stupid. It's like, yeah, I just, yeah, you know. It don't, it don't make sense. So, Jake, now, man, it's gonna be rough out here. Go ahead. In great tribulation. Uh -huh. Behold, says the Heavenly Father, I will call together all the kings of the earth mm -hmm. to reverence me. Which he gonna, he gonna call them all together to reverence him. Cause he told you in uh, Revelation 19 and 11, he gonna take the crowns off their head. He gonna uh -huh. take all their power, go ahead. Which are from the rising of the sun, mm -hmm. from the south, from the east, and uh, Labinus, to turn themselves one against another mm -hmm. and repay the things that they have done to them. Go repay the things they have done. Go ahead. Verse 21. Like as they do yet this day until my chosen, mm -hmm. so will I do also and re uh, recompense in their bosom. So the things you've done to the chosen, the Lord going to recompense unto you in your bosom, man. They've done, they, gonna, they have done many things to us from way back and they still doing all these treacherous things to us. Now give me uh, Isaiah 13 and that. Go on. Right? Because it's going to be, hey, it's going to be that day of the Lord going to be terrible, man. Okay? It's going to be terrible in that day. He said 13 and 1. 13 and 9. Bubba the shot. Oh, and uh, you got another one. Zephaniah. First chapter 14. I hope that's an eye. I'm going to get out of This is Isaiah. Chapter 13. Mm -hmm. Nine. Mm -hmm. Behold, the day of the Lord coming. The day of the Lord, man. That day of judgment is coming. Go ahead. Cruel. Uh huh. Both with wrath. Uh huh. It's going to be cruel. It's going to be with wrath, right? The thermonuclear destruction. It's got the race. It gets called the riots. We've spoken of right there. Uh, the famine, the pestilence, all this stuff. Go ahead. And fierce anger. And fierce anger. Go ahead. To slay the land desolate. To slay this land desolate. Go ahead. And he shall destroy the sinners. The Lord said, He shall destroy. Isaiah said, He shall destroy the sinners, man. You know, but you have people say the Lord don't hate the sinner, he just hate the sin. No, it said right there, he gonna destroy you sinner. Go ahead. They're up out of, out of it. He gonna destroy you out of this place. Go ahead. For the stars mm -hmm. of heaven mm -hmm. and the constellation mm -hmm. thereof shall not give the light. The sun so shall be that, dark. That, that thermonuclear destruction, that mushroom cloud gonna cover all the light that the sun and the stars gonna put out. Okay, go ahead. The sun shall be darkened. Mm -hmm. It is going forth, mm -hmm. and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And plus, Esau and them, your your uh, uh uh your knowledge, your wicked side of knowledge in this earth is gonna be wiped out as well. Go ahead. What time it is? <laughs> Verse eleven. Dark. And I will punish the world for their evil. They're gonna punish the world for your evil. Go ahead. And the wicked for their iniquity. The iniquity of the wicked gonna be punished, man. So that's why it's important to come back to the law, of and commandments. Come back to the heavenly Father. Go ahead. And I will cause the. See, the proud, that haughtiness of the proud, holding your head up, thinking you better than everybody else. Go ahead. Uh, to that, cheese. That should eat it, my. He said he gonna cause that to cease, man. Okay, go ahead. To cease, mm -hmm. and I will lay low the, the righteousness mm -hmm. and terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, of the terrible. Mm -hmm. Verse twelve, and I will make a man more precious than fine gold. The fine gold of what? Ophir, right? Is it? Fine gold of itself. Ophir? Read it. Even a man that the golden wages of Ophir. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Right? So Ophir, you know, you go into it, it was like the most precious gold. 
God. Okay? This ain't gonna make us like that. That was a goal that was sought after. So guess what? In that day, a man gonna be sought after, like we said earlier. You wait for all you women, you wicked women, because it said in Ezekiel that he gonna kill y'all as well. So men, the elect, a man of the Lord gonna be like that goal of Ophir, man. Uh, you uh, women gonna be running. Right? Y'all gonna be running to the man of the Lord. Guess what? We're gonna be like, ah, get out of here. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, uh I got a precept. You still some more on that right there. Come, on, come, on, come. On. Verse 13. Therefore, therefore I will shake the heavens mm -hmm. and the shake earth. The heavens and the earth with thermal nuclear destruction. Go ahead. Shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord. Uh huh. Of hosts. Go ahead. And in a day of his uh, furnace anger, yeah. fierce anger. Fierce anger. Go ahead. God, God. For, uh, 14. He shall be as the chaste robe. Uh huh. And as he, as a sheep that no man taketh up. Go ahead. They shall every man turn in his own people mm -hmm. and flee everyone into his own land. You got these people over here, these Arabs, these East Indians, Chinese. Soon come, they gonna get the message and they gonna be they gonna be easing out of America, man. God. So they making money. Esau letting them make money. This money we should be making. We should be on the liquor stores and the grocery stores and all that Gas shit. Station. Yeah, we supposed to be on that shit. But they got them on it. But they gonna get, get the message. They ass gonna uh, go back to their own. Don't get God. Yeah. Uh, nah, you think I don't get it. Chinese. Verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thirst. Thrust. I mean, thrust through. Uh -huh. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. You join under these Edomites. The scriptures say in Proverbs 11 and 21, though hand join in hand, God. wicked shall not go unpunished. Woo. You know? Hey, can I say something? No, I mean, but I've been getting mad at us. I've been killed this thing. Built this thing. They let these old goops come over here yeah. and get everything. Yeah. It's part of the we, curses. We can't even get nothing. That's Deuteronomy uh, where it says, uh, they going to be the head and you going to be the tail. Uh, that's a curse to put on us. They get okay. them Okay. Scripture says you're going to go to them in one of our things. Exactly. Go ahead. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Their children. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. Their children gonna be dashed to pieces. Go ahead. Before their eyes. Before their eyes, right in front of you. You know what I mean? Just the same, like the brother said, the same way they did us. Our children was dashed to pieces right before our eyes. They used to put our men, tie them up, and let the horse go both ways and snatch his ass apart. Feed our children alligators, man. So we gon' it's it's going the same thing gonna happen to you. They ain't even supposed to forget about it. Their houses like shall be spoiled. Their houses shall be spoiled. They ain't gonna broken into. Go ahead. And their wives. Ravish. Ravish. You go into the word ravish. One of the words is what rape. So your wife hey. gonna be raped and, 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 and right in front of you. My daughter you know? got white horse, man. I'm like, you know what you got? Uh, this hey. is book Isaiah chapter 32, verse two. This is touch on Isaiah four and one, mm -hmm. and it reads, "A man should be as a hiding place from the wind. You're gonna be as a hiding place for destruction. Go ahead." And they covered from the tempest. From a cover from the tempest, go ahead. As rivers of water in dry places. Because a lot of things are going to be happening out here in the streets. Well, these women are not going to be able to take, they're not going to be able to fend for themselves. Go so you tough, you tough active women, you're going to find out whether it's a pack of men. And ain't none of them never had sex. And they hungry. No. They're going to they gonna be yeah. like hyenas on y'all. So, so the Lord going to have a special spirit on the men of the Lord. The special heads where ain't really nothing going to happen to us. Bro, go ahead. As the shadows of a great rock in weary land. Uh huh. In that weary land, which is going to be America. Okay. Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great. You know? So back in, uh, uh, back here in, uh, Ezekiel 7 and 5, thus said the Lord Yahweh, it says, and evil, only evil, behold, is come. Okay, so it's gonna be disaster, man, and devastation in this place. And it says, an end is come, an end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. 
So that doom of America awaits all you people, man. It's a special, a special slaughter that's, that has a, a, a point in time in this place for you people, man. So, a 